Next. Well, Roderick King was their tailback last year. This is his first year to play receiver. He's a senior. Uh, maybe there's a lack of experience out there at a receiver position. The ball was a little low. Possibly could have been thrown a little higher and made the completion. Punch time for the Bramas. As Jackson will drop back to about midfield. Leckler has a great leg. The young man can boot the football. And with him back at quarterback, you just never know. Good snap. Playing return. Good punt. Great punt. Going to hit and roll. Jackson will pick it up. Danger to the 25 at the 30 and a 32-yard line. Good play. Almost could have been disastrous. I, I much would have rather seen him go up and catch that ball because he, he, it was 10 yards before anybody was in front of him. A heck of a punt. That guy's got a foot on him. Young man was an all-state punter as a freshman. First down and a 10 for the Horns. Their third possession. We've got a buck 57 left in the first quarter of play at Shorthorn Stadium. Kevin Fishbeck along with Jeff Prosky. Greg Yola providing all the pictures for you. As always here on Channel 16. First and 10 Horns. 32-yard line. Starting with Wright and Houston. Jackson to the uh, far right. Adams here to our side. Defense jumping again. There goes Houston. Jason across to the 35-yard line. Gain of three, second and seven. The second down and seven for the Schulenberg Shorthorn. The short seven. Minute 35 left to go. We said this ball game is just rolling right along here. A lot of folks haven't even gotten in yet, and they've only miss, missed the first quarter. Second and a short. Oh, the ball is fumbled. Sarden got it. Didn't get it. It's re recovered by East Bernard. Or was Sarden called down? Okay. Sarden was called down third down. Oh, and you'll hear it from across the way. So the offense stays on the field. So it's third down and seven now. Boy, the short ones may have gotten a big break there. Third and seven, split backs. Another big play for Schulenberg. Have not thrown a pass. We'll sweep it. Here's Houston, cuts it back. Jason Houston to midfield, almost to midfield. A saving tackle out there by Douglas Grigger, but it goes from the 15-yard gain. Jeff Wright on the call. Big play, did you, see, did you see the defensive man go around the block, try to get Houston to cut inside, and that's what Jason wanted to do on that play. Well, you've got to take what the line gives you, and uh, that's a good play by him. He has to turn it in. You can't let Jason get outside. So Houston, with a big third down carry, we've got 15 seconds left on the clock. Horns trying to get another playoff here before the end of the first quarter. Nine seconds left. We should, we will get the playoff. Sarton will turn, give it to Houston. Houston on his way. Jason with a gain of about seven to end the first quarter. So we played one. And our score remains nothing to nothing. Short on football brought to you by Casper's Department Store. Frank Supply, Swanky Baumgarten Funeral Home, Mark, Brian, and Bill Quazel. Schillenberg Glass, that's Mike and Phyllis Sharitza. Schaller Engineering, Welburn Petroleum, Hill Bank and Trust Company of Weimar. Watts Lava Clinic and Pharmacy, Mr. B. Fireworks, that's Tom Vargas giving you more bang for your bucks. Holas Duncan Insurance Agency, Hugo Holas of Schulenburg, Carl Duncan and Weimer, Frank's Restaurant, I-10, Highway 77 in Schulenburg with 65 years of great food and service. Chuck Brown Ford, Double B Foods Incorporated, Bubba and Karen Dagan, Don Blancet, Schulenburg Tires, Alfredo and Mildred Valenzuela, Victoria Bank and Trust, Prime Industries, and W.A. Farrick. First, or uh, second down and five for the Horns. Jeff, it appears Jason is starting to see the holes now. It looks like he's starting to warm up. He was running real tentative the first few plays there. It looks like he was looking for the hole. Now he's exploding and taking what they've given him and, and probably trying to dig a little more out of it. On his first three carries, he rushed for minus four yards. Since then, he has rushed for a positive uh, 41, a net 37. Exactly. He's warming up. He's looking a lot better now. Second down and five for the Horns. 
as we begin our second quarter. The ball at the 40, call it the 46 and a half yard line, 47 yard line. 47 is where we'll mark it. Second and five horns. Sarden to Bradley Wright. First carry of the night for Wright. Cuts it back. Great cut by 22, Bradley Wright. When you need a big run, you give it to Double Deuce. That's a big run right there. Five, 10, 12, 13 yards. 12, 12 yards on the carry. First and 10. And the horns are in business up to the 37 yard line. First down and 10 with 11.40 left. First half of play, no scores. Sold, sold out Shorthorn Stadium. Parents night 94, number one against number four in the state. And it's a big district ball game. Both teams 8-0 and 3-0. Give it to Bradley up the middle. He's knocked down, but he gets forward progress to about the 35, a gain of one. Second down and nine. Jeff, we still haven't seen the uh, passing attack. Uh, any reason for that uh, with your pregame visits? No, I didn't. I, I didn't. I expected us to try to establish the run. I did. I didn't think we would. If we don't have to throw, maybe we won't throw. There's a lot of mistakes that can happen. They've got a good defense here. I don't know if we want to. Uh, we're, we're doing. We're getting successful with the run. I hope we'll stay with that. Second down and nine. Horns. Ball at the 35. Sarton brings the troops to the line, and now we will see uh, Stephen roll out. Wants to throw in trouble. Throw hit caught. Jamie Jackson a first down at the 23-yard line. Gain of 12 to the 23. Gain of 12 and a first down. Right on the money. And Jackson eluded the double team that time, That time, Jeff, and he got wide open. An excellent pass by Sarton. And, and the line gave him time on that rollout to set up and, and throw the strike. There was a man right on him. Good pass and a good catch. Jody Domo gave him a lick, but not before the completion was made. Ball at the 23-yard line, first and 10 horns. They're driving their first possession of the second quarter. Pitch it left side. Jason Houston cuts it up. Oh, my, my. See ya. Touchdown. Oh, bless him. You can run all of all you want. You're not going to catch him. Six on the board. That's number 18 for Jason Houston. Just like that. 23 yards out. See ya. 60 yards already in the, just over the first quarter. We needed a big night from him. They're keen on him, and we're still getting the yards. Possibly a, possibly a big night for Jason. Well, I tell you what, they strung it outside. He looked for the hole. He cut it up. Hats off to the regulator offensive line. And Shepard will be on to attempt the extra point. The Shorthorns have struck first. As Jason Houston carries it from 23 yards out, that's his 18th touchdown of the season, carrying the football. Mr. Excitement. Good snap. The hole, the kick is no good. Shepard's had this problem. We don't need it in a big ball game. He just missed the football. Well, with his, with, with Lecker's leg kicking, that's two field goals you can look at right there to tie the game. And it, once he gets inside the 40, that's almost points for East Bernard. You can look at it that way. We didn't need to do that. We need to convert everything. 10.42 left, first half. Horn six, and the East Bernard Bremas, nothing. 6-0 on the 23-yard touchdown run by Jason Houston. Jeff, quickly review those stats. For uh, Houston, he's got 60 yards. Eight carries for 60 yards. After rushing three times for negative four, his first three trips. So the Shorthorns will... Kick it away here, leading six to nothing. The horns have struck first. Shramik will kick it away. Shramik's pooch kick takes a big bounce. The ball has been touched. It's loose. Free ball. They'll pick it up. Right side. Young man gets outside, still on his feet. Ginnard on him. Finally, they'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. Big return by Chad Nichols. Nichols with a big return. And East Bernard sets up in great field position there at the 46-yard line, first down and 10. 10.33 left. It is six to nothing. Schulenberg on top. The 
Ball at the 46-yard line. Leckler with a split back formation. Will roll to his left. Wants to throw. Throws it off. Oh, caught drop. Both are starting in on the coverage. Again, a ball that's catchable. But he's rolling to his left, and he threw just a little bit behind the receiver. Just a little bit. Maybe enough to make the guy miss. Still should have been caught. Pollock touched that with two hands. That's a reception. But it went incomplete. And Sarton introduced himself. Second and ten. But again, the offensive line of East Bernard is giving Shane Leckler time to pass. Not like last year when he was on his back the entire night. Of course, when you're rolling out like that, it has a lot to do with it. Motion our side. Second and ten. Leckler again will roll it out. Looking, setting, has time, traffic, sack attack. Damn, they missed him. He gets away and gets back to the line of scrimmage. Sam Brown had him. Ricky Hernandez had him. And he got away. And he, and he avoids the sack because he picks up a yard. The defense, black attack defense, had him. But he got away. And now that'll bring up third down. Third down and nine for East Bernard. One back, double wing formation. First look from the wing, and now they'll go motion to the right side. Here come the horn. There's a holding call. The guy's being tackled. Leckler will run. He will not pick up the first down. The headhunter gave it to him. We've got a defensive tackle that's being tackled by two Bramas. Well, this, this referee back there obviously can't see too much. He's missed two or three holding calls that have been right in front of him. I can't understand that. They kept Leckler from getting the first down yardage. It's a big call here. Third and a long two. A fourth down, fourth down and a long two. And Leckler will drop back to pass. But just remember, you never know. Leckler will try to probably put this out of bounds inside the 10. With his skill, he can do it easily. He will punt it away, pooch kick. Oh, but he shanked it. And the Horns going to have great field position. You talk about a shank. There's a major league shank right there. The official marks it up the 34-yard line. Jeff, huge break. You're only looking at about a 12-yard punt possibly there. With that boy's foot, we should have been inside our five possibly the way he kicked. So the Horns get another break. <laughs> First down and 10. A little warm up here this evening. First and 10 horns. Ball at the 33 yard line. Sarton the man under. We've got Reigns and Houston. Back to pass. Jackson is open. Caught. Jackson turns around. Still on his feet. Dances. Oh, what a play. You gotta love it. You just gotta love that action from Action Jackson. That guy, what the move? What move does he have, boy? Double coverage, he finds the seam in there, catches the ball, makes two moves, makes two guys grab air, gains an extra six, seven yards. Who are the Aggies scouting tonight? <laughs> Maybe some orange and black. Gain of 19 by Action Jackson, the new, the new name for Jamie. Ball across the midfield stripe at the 49-yard line. Horns in business. Inside of nine minutes left in the first half. Schulenberg up six to nothing. Motion, Jackson going to the far side. Sarton fumbled it, and a draw to Houston. Big running room, 40, 35, still on his feet, 32. You're not going to stop the young man when he's got a moves like that. That's good for 17. 17 yards on a busted play, Jeff. They dropped the football. They hesitated, and it was a, it was a design draw anyway, and, Je and he still takes it for 17. Kevin, maybe that helped. Stall everything, and East Bernard didn't know where the ball was or anything, and it just enough to get everybody off balance to get that big popper. Starting to feel that momentum, starting to feel that orange and black pride right now. The ball is at the 32-yard line. Sarton, the man under. Will give it to Reigns. Reigns will cut it up, knock down, nice play. Gets it to the 30, but not before he's brought down by Thomas Cortez. Game of two, second and eight. Actually, a gain of one, they move it back to the 31. 
Ball is at the 31, second down and nine horns, 7.50 left to go. First half, Schulenberg up six to nothing. This ball game is flying by. We've only played for about 35 minutes. It has flown by. Second down. Sarton wants to roll, has all day. May want to take it up. Oh, and he, from the back side. Donnie McPaul ran through the block and will sack Sarton for a five-yard loss. Jeff, that play had Sarton rolling out looking for all kinds of daylight, and the young man slipped through. Credit the defensive tackle for East Bernard to make a good play to work between two blocks and get to the ball. No give up in that player. Donnie McPaul, he's a, a senior with one letter. Young man made a big play there because Steven had all kinds of room on the sideline. Heck of a play. So now it's third down and 13. Sarton to pass, gets a block. The man is open, David Reigns, and he just didn't hit it to him. Reigns may have slowed down a little bit. Reigns is wide open, and Sarton knew it. Reigns is wide open up the middle. And they just didn't get him the foot. The football was where it was supposed to be thrown. I think Reigns may have slowed up a bit. Nonetheless, it's decision time for Coach David Hoosman. He's got a full complement of timeouts. He's taking his time, still has not made the call. Now Shramick will go in, and the punt team will come in. The clock is stopped, but the play clock is moving. And there's the flag. They'll back him up five yards, which may not be a bad thing because it gives you an extra five to maneuver on the punt. Yeah, we've got more room to kick. Our, our kickers aren't quite as strong as their kickers, so we'll be able to do a regular kick and keep it in bounds, whereas he would still have to kick it out of bounds if Lecker was kicking. So uh, Shramek will go back to punt. A couple of big plays, but then uh, a couple of good defensive plays by East Bernard prevent the horns from tacking on some more. They lead only 6 to nothing with 6.53 left. First half, good snap. No rush. Great punt by Shramick. Man will catch it at the three. Oh, my goodness. Why do you take the ball at the three-yard line? He gets up to about the 12. That ball, the way it's going, that goes into the end zone, Jeff. Uh, that's a, a strange decision on his part. Uh, I guess he figured he was looking for the big play here. He might have figured Schulenberg was going to over-pursue it and make a big play. A, a fortunate break for Schulenberg. Well, it sets East Bernard up deep again. That defense can stay tough. The ball is just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line. First down and 10. First and 10 for East Bernard. Handed off to Blunston. Big hole. Ginnett wrapped him up. Nice uh, gain up to about the 17-yard line. Gain of six. Second down and four. Second and four for the uh, Bramus. 6.15 left. First half. Schulenberg up six to nothing. Ibacks, two splits out here to the near side. Run it to Blunston. Nothing. Oh, he gets away. Went ran into his own man. And then he will be dropped there by Paco Valenzuela. Shramick is there. And Shepard. Short gain. Brings up third and long three. Third and long three. Third and a long three. They will hand it up the middle. First man through. Close to a first down. Ran a full house. First man through. And that was Domo. Going to be awfully close. And officials want to take a look at this. Going to be awfully close, Jeff. With 5.14 left in this uh, first half. If you don't get it, what do you do? Punt. You don't want to give Schoenberg a chance to have the ball that close. Make them, make them drive just like we're trying to make them do. So it's going to be awfully close. They will stick it tight. It is going to be a first down. That little second effort by Domo. 
gave him the first down yardage. Well, we, they are standing four, five, six rows deep out on the sidewalk. We'll, it, we'd like to get a shot of it, but it's hard to do that with our angle up here. Across the way at East Bernard, you can see how the Brema fans have packed in here at the Shorthorn Stadium. Tickets were scarce. Some said they were going to put up chairs on top of the uh, auditorium. Don't see any of them there yet. Option play Leckler. Shepard put a helmet on him. Leckler drove forward. Nice run by Leckler. Not a whole lot of speed, but the young man is a load to bring down. It's a second down play. Gain of uh, six on the play. Gain of, gain of six, second and four. 425 to go in the first half. Schulberg is up six to nothing. 23-yard touchdown run by Jason Houston. The extra point was missed. First man through, still on his feet. That is a Grigger. So a gain of three now brings up third down and two. And again, East Bernard faces a crucial third down play in Shorthorn uh, or in their own territory. Back, just ball, the ball just back behind the 30, just shy of the 30. Third and two. Power eye formation. Option, nothing there. Leckler lunges. Oh, and look at the short horn, pound him. What a great play. It's fourth down, no game. Shepard made some contact. Hernandez was there, the head on her. Chad Gittert was there, and Sarton came over the top to finish him off. Gutsy call, that's a not a bad call. That is not a bad call in that situation. If, if I was the coach, that's the man I'd want with the ball. Well, Leckler will get the ball here, but watch the short snap. Nope, snap it through, punt it away. Straight football, oh, that's a boomer. Jackson, back to the 15, backfilling, in traffic, gets away, Jamie, down the sideline. There he goes, Jamie Jackson still on his feet. Fumbles, Schulenberg got it. And, oh no, East Bernard got it. Schulenberg had it and lost it. Jackson with a little too much action. I thought we got the football back, but then the dog pile began and East Bernard pulled it away. Schulenberg had the football, Jeff, but the dog pile started and from that point it's who's the strongest. Unfortunate break, a, a good move and a good hit. Just happened to be the right hit at the right time to get the ball back. It's a 30-yard punt return for not. They fumble the football. That's a great play by East Bernard to pull it away. 2.47 left, first down and 10. First and 10, illegal procedure. They show the shotgun, got somebody jumping. The line of scrimmage was back around the 30, and the ball went to the 15. That's close to a 60-yard punt by Leckler. Well, the line of scrimmage was a 30. So that's a 55-yard punt by Leckler. A beautiful spiral. Wow. Well, that takes away uh, the shank daddy effort on the 12-yarder he had the previous time. Still has his average up around 40 yards. <laughs> First and 15, ball back at midfield, shotgun, Leckler rolling, has time, throws, the man is wide open. He already dropped the football. I tell you what, Shane Leckler is going to have nightmares about drop footballs tonight because he has had some wide open receivers. They have just not holding on to the ball. My goodness. And you can't, you know, what do you do? You can't, you can't jump on the quarterback because the balls have been there. Second and 15, 239 left first half. Horns up by six. Shotgun formation, Leckler rolling to his right. Hernandez giving chase, get her giving chase, threw it away. He just threw that football away. And Hernandez and Ginnert still gave it to Leckler. Smart play, threw it at the feet. There was a receiver close at the heads up play by Shane Leckler. But it doesn't help them because now it's third and 15. Another huge play for the Horn defense. 
2.34 left. Ball back at midfield. Third down. Quarterback draw, nothing there. Nothing there. Sergeant Shepard, Hernandez, Valenzuela, Gintert. They're all there. Fourth down. No gain on the play, fourth and 15. Horns have all their timeouts left. Leckler, who just kicked away a 55-yarder, is back deep again. That's not counting the slack when you back up 15 yards. That's a 70-yard effort. Low snap, here come the Horns. And this one is straight up in the air. Jackson says fair catch. Fumbled it, pounced on it at the 20 three-yard line. Kind of a knuckleball, Jeff? That ball was knuckling in that wind. I, I don't know if he can do that. He can intentionally do that and, and have the knowledge to do it, but that's a heck of a... I'd get out of the way of that one and let it go. Hats off to the defense. What a job the Big D's doing tonight. The black attack. Buck 49 left. First half. Schulenberg has it. I don't want to be too premature, but Leckler has no yards passing. That's a, that's a very unusual sign. <laughs> Don't continue to see that continue. He's, he's going to get his due tonight. Horns aren't settled on six points. They'll go to the shotgun, and they can do so many things out of the shotgun. Like fake it, and the screen to Jackson. Here comes Jamie, gets a big block. Jamie on his feet to 35, 40, 45, 50. Cut back, still on his feet to the 40, 35. Still on his feet to the 28-yard line. Action, Jackson. Oh, what a play. You can still double team it, but he's still going to make the play, Kevin. You mess with the big dog, you may get bit. Oh, man, it goes from the 23, 24 yard line 26, 36, 46, 48 yards. Mess with the dog, you may get bit. A minute 20 left. The horns have struck like this all season long. Like a rattlesnake, call them up, they're gonna bite you. First and 10, high snap, fake the handoff. Starting with all kinds of time, throws it. Jackson had it, dropped it. Jamie at the 15, he dropped it, but the clock is stopped with a minute 10 left. Again, Jamie was wide open. And it brings up second down and 10. Jackson may come out and get a breather. He deserves it. Gets a big hand, and the Shorthorns want a timeout. They'll talk about it. Good call by Coach Hoosman. It'll give Jackson a time to get a break. Shorthorn football brought to you by Diamond S Restaurant. Fox Fire Builders. That's J.O. Renner. 10 Frame Bowling Alley. Audubon Travel Shop. Emco. Ken and Sherry Banks Owners. Crumchick Wagner Insurance Agency. Kelly and Doris Sarton. Schulenberg Livestock Auction Incorporated, Zimmerman's Garage, Vernon and Von Zimmerman Owners, Schulenberg Printing Office Supplies and Sports Specialties, the Proschke families, and Dan and Jill Tabor. Jeff, you got a minute 10 for the horns. That's an eternity. That's a lot of time with a lot of weapons, as we, as we so have. Uh, there's an, any number of things can happen. Maybe we might look to Mark. We haven't looked to him yet tonight. Uh, that screen, that screens are always still there. Uh, maybe out of the backfield, the reins again. He was open on the last series. There's a lot of things that, 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 that we possibly can do here, and, and uh, no telling what Hoosman's got up his sleeve now. There, nobody ever seems to know what he's going to run, uh, even himself sometimes. I don't think he knows where he's going. Well, it's first or second down and 10. Second down and 10 for the Hawks. David Hoosman still out on the uh, field with his team. What a great play. The screen to Jackson 48 yards later. And he almost broke that one. Trips out to the left and a shotgun. Straight drop for Sarden. Has time. Throws it up. There's Mark incomplete at the goal line. Kevin Mark jumped up. We've seen him make some spectacular plays all season long. He just couldn't come down with that one. Just couldn't come down with it. Well, it was a good defensive play. The man got up there and got in his face. I'm sure that had a lot to do with the way the ball came. It, it had to go through. I, it didn't look like it got tipped, but it sure was close. Now you still have a, over a minute left. It's third down. If you throw a pass and it's incomplete, it's fourth down, and you have to punt the football. You go for it here, Jeff. We'll, we, maybe we don't have to get to that. 
We'll see. Third and ten horns inside the 30. Sarton got some pressure. Look out. Throws it. It's caught off the tip. Jackson makes another spectacular catch. Buck snapped it. Buck touched it. Shromick touched the ball and tipped it to Jackson. Luckily enough, he didn't tip it enough to knock it out of the way. It looked like it was going to him. I thought it was going to Buck in the first place. Luckily enough, it was high enough, and he's short enough. And thank God for his shortness on that play. I don't want to take anything away from you, Buck. I'm glad you were short. 17 yards and a first down. It's been the Sarton-Jackson combination tonight. Ball the 13. Hand it off. Jason looking for the outside. Oh, what a great move by Jason Houston. Cuts it back. Still on his feet. And that's touchdown. You're not going to see a better run. You are not going to see a better run. Put it on every highlight film. Put it on every highlight film and send it all over the nation. And now the official says Jack uh, that he stepped out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. They're going to say he stepped out at the one. The official watching it calls touchdown, but they're going to mark it at the one. 